Good day everyone! Our topic for today is all about properties of parallelogram. Our objectives for today, at the end of the lesson, you are expected to identify the properties of parallelogram, apply the properties in solving the angles and sides of parallelogram. Most essential learning competencies, milk of this topic, uses properties to find measures of angles, sides, and other quantities involving parallelograms. M9GE2B-1 What do you mean by parallelogram? Yes, correct. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral with two pairs of opposite sides parallel. Let us consider quadrilateral LOBE is a parallelogram. What are the parallel sides? Yes, very good. Line segment LO, parallel to line segment ED. Line segment ME, parallel to line segment OB. And by the way, class, what is line segment LB and line segment OE from the quadrilateral or a parallelogram? Yes, very good. That is what we call diagonals. Okay, let us start discussing properties of parallelogram. Let us consider again quadrilateral LOBE is a parallelogram. So the first property, opposite sides are congruent. What are the opposite sides of the parallelogram? Yes, correct. LO and BE. LE and OB. So the congruent opposite sides are line segment LO congruent to line segment BE or line segment OL congruent to line segment EB line segment LE congruent to line segment BO or line segment EL congruent to line segment OB that is the proper way in naming congruent opposite sides of a parallelogram number two opposite angles are congruent what are the opposite angles of the parallelogram Yes, correct. Angle LOB and angle BEL. Angle ELO and angle EBO. So, the congruent angles, angle LEB congruent to angle BOL or angle BEL congruent to angle LOB. Angle ELO congruent to angle OBE or angle OLE congruent to angle E, B, o. By the way, class, in a quadrilateral or in a parallelogram, if we have a diagonal, name the angles with three capital letters. For number three, any two consecutive angles are supplementary. So when we say supplementary, the sum of the two angles is 180 degrees. So, Measures of angle ELO plus measures of angle LOB is 180 degrees. Measures of angle OBE plus measures of angle BEL equals 180 degrees. Measures of angle LOB plus measures of angle OBE equals 180 degrees. Measures of angle BEL plus measures of angle ELO is 180 degrees. Okay, number four. Diagonals bisect each other. So, when we say bisect, they uh, divide into two equal parts. So, by the way, what are the diagonals in a parallelogram? Yes, very good. Line segment LB and line segment OE intersect at point S. So, the congruent line segment from that diagonals we have line segment LS congruent to line segment BS or line segment SL congruent to line segment SD. Line segment ES congruent to line segment OS or line segment SD congruent to line segment SO. Number five, each diagonal divides a parallelogram into two congruent triangles. So, from diagonal EO, the congruent triangles are triangle LEO congruent to triangle BOE or triangle EOL congruent to triangle OED. 
triangle LOB congruent to triangle BEL or triangle OBL congruent to triangle ELB. Okay, let us answer the given activity. Please get on a scratch paper. Use parallelogram BEFG to complete each statement. Give the reason to justify your answer. Okay, from the figure, parallelogram BEFG, line segment EG, and line segment BF are diagonals intersect at point H. Okay, in number one, line segment EF congruent to what line segment? Number two, angle BEF congruent to what angle? Number three, line segment FG congruent to what line segment? Number four, line segment EH congruent to what line segment? Five, angle EDG congruent to what angle? Six, line segment EH congruent to what line segment? Seven, triangle DEF congruent to what triangle? Eight, angle DEF and angle EFG are nine, measures of angle EDG plus measures of angle DGF equals and number 10, triangle EFG congruent to what triangle? Okay, please answer for that. Okay, let us answer now. Okay, number 1, what is your answer? Yes, very good. Line segment GD. What is your reason? Yes, correct. Opposite sides are congruent. Next, number 2. Very good. Angle FGD. What is your reason? Why are angle FGD congruent to angle DEF? Yes, very good. Opposite angles are congruent. Yes, correct. Line segment DE. And they are opposite sides. Very good. Number four. Yes, correct. Line segment GH. And what is the reason? Why... Line segment DH is congruent to line segment EH. Yes. Diagonals bisect each other. And number five, angle GFE. Yes, correct. And what is the reason? Okay, very good. Opposite angles are congruent. Six. Line segment FH is correct. And... Diagonals bisect each other. Very good. And number seven. Yes. Triangle FGD. And what is the reason why uh, the two triangles are congruent? Yes, very good. Each diagonal divides into two congruent triangles. And number eight. They are what? Okay, very good. Supplementary. And any consecutive angles are supplementary. And number 9, okay, very good, 180. So any consecutive angles is supplementary angles, so that the sum is 180 degrees. And number 10, yes, correct, triangle GDE. And uh, what is uh, our reason for that? Yes, correct. Each diagonal divides into two congruent triangles. Okay, find the value of each variable in the parallelogram. For the first figure, find the value of x degrees, y degrees, and z degrees. And for the second figure, you have to solve for the value of x and y. Okay, number one, what value of x degrees? Yes, correct. The answer is 70 degrees. Why? Yes, very good. Because they are consecutive angles and consecutive angles of a parallelogram are supplementary angles so that 180 minus 110 equals 70 okay how about y degrees yes very good 110 degrees because they are opposite angles and we all know that opposite angles are congruent how about say degrees yes correct 70 degrees congruent to x degrees. Okay, in figure number 2, what will be our equation when we solve for x? Yes, very good. x minus 2 equals 9 because opposite sides are congruent. Okay, what property of equality we will use in solving for x? 
Yes, very good. Addition property of equality. Therefore, x equals 9 plus 2. Therefore, x equals 11. So that, 11 minus 2 equals 9. Okay. How about in solving for y? What will be our equation? Yes, very good. y plus 5 equals 11. And what property of equality we will use? Yes, subtraction property of equality. Therefore, y equals 11 minus 5. Therefore, y equals 6. So that, 6 plus 5 equals 11. Okay, class, if you have no question, so please answer the learning task, what is more, using theorems and properties of parallelogram. What you have to do is you are going to complete the following statements and give the reason for your answer. Given quadrilateral LOBE is a parallelogram. Number one, line segment OB parallel to blank. Line segment OL parallel to blank. Number two, line segment OB congruent to blank. Line segment OL congruent to blank. Number three, angle LOB congruent to blank. Angle OLE congruent to blank. Number four, measures of angle LOB plus measures of angle OBE equals blank. Measures of angle BOL plus, me plus measures blank equals 180. Okay, number five, OE equals 10 cm, OU equals blank, EU equals blank. Six, UL equals 10 cm, LU equals blank, UB equals blank. Seven, LB equals 8 cm, LU equals blank, UB equals blank. And number eight, triangle LEB congruent to triangle blank. Okay, so another learning task, and you are going to answer in your paper. So find the value of each variable in the parallelogram. For number one, you have to solve for the value of x and y. And number two, find the value of x, y, and c. Number three, find the value of x and y. And for number four, you have to solve for the value of x and y. Thank you.